Evening and welcome to the 11th annual and certainly most unique edition of Big Man on Campus to benefit youth resources of Southwestern Indiana. I am Ryan O'Brien from 99.5 WKDQ. And I am Erin Meyer. I am an adult advisor with Youth Resources Teen Advisory Council and I work at USI and we're pretty excited to see how this goes. It's a new experience. We've got people in, in house slippers. I don't even have shoes on, but hey, we're making it happen. And uh, as Ryan said, it's the 11th annual Big Man on Campus. This event was started way back in 2010 by high school students who are part of Youth Resources Teen Advisory Council. And the whole idea is to promote high achievement and confidence among high school males and youth, Ryan. That's right, and this pageant allows young men the chance to share their talents and receive recognition for their achievements. Now, the pageant's purpose is not to judge outer beauty, but to highlight those young men whose distinguished character and integrity make them important figures on their high school campuses and right here in the community as well. You're probably gonna hear us say it a few times, listen, you know, just overstate the obvious that things look a little different this year. We're coming to you online and it was really important for us to figure out a way to make big men Big man on campus work when we realized that we wouldn't be able to be coming to you from a stage with a big audience like normal because of this pandemic. But there are a lot of reasons. I mean, for one, right, we're all probably going a little stir crazy and could use some new content on that Facebook feed. Um, but it was a lot of fun, and we've got some really wonderful contestants who have volunteered their time to be part of this, and we didn't want to just shove that aside. We've, we've got lots of high school students who've worked very hard to make this possible, and of course our contestants who are ready to show us all of their skills, and we're very excited about that and to have them part of the 11 years of BMOC legacy. So the other good part about this is this is not a one night only situation people we got three whole nights of bmock fun mr ryan o'brien we hope they'll be back for nights two and three too that is correct and we hope you certainly will join us for uh, all three of these nights and we could uh, do use a little favor uh if you wouldn't mind uh share this live video on your own facebook page encourage others to do so and join in the fun not only tonight but uh, tomorrow and friday as well and when you do that Make sure you tag youth resources and use the hashtag BMOC2020. BMOC2020 is the hashtag for that when you share it, Erin. All right. Hey, we've got just because we're online does not mean it didn't take a lot of people to make this happen. And we do have quite a few sponsors who are um, a big part of this every single year. So we want to give a big thank you to them, starting with our promotional sponsors. And those are FC Tucky MG Realtors and the University of Evansville. Thank you very much. Yeah, we'd also like to thank our event sponsors as well. AZ Pizza, Bob's Gym, Browning Funeral Home, Cook Orthodontics, Kitchen Shriver, the Lynch Family, Soon and Associates, uh, the Cerrone Family, and Tally Eye Institute. And we have some award sponsors as well who we are so very grateful for. Be Happy Pie Company, thank you. Evansville Pediatric Dentistry, Foster O'Daniel Hambage and Lynch, Big shout out to Mark's Barbecue, the McMinn family, the Meyerholtz family, Norman Painting, Real Property Management Results, and the Richler family. We have some contestant sponsors we need to thank as well. That would be Junior's Woodworking, uh, Janella Power, and Angela and Brett Sinclair as well. Thank you so much for being a part of tonight. And we will wrap up those sponsor thank yous with shout outs to our prize sponsors, which include Comfort by the Cross-Eyed Cricket, Cricket, Paul's Menswear, and Youth Resources. Ryan? Yeah, so obviously, uh, as we said, we'll mention this throughout the night, uh, it's different this year. It just is. Um, we certainly acknowledge that, but it's going to be a lot of fun. So the audience guidelines have changed just a just a little bit too uh normally it's hold your applause to the end don't boo so on and so forth but we can't hear you so applause be as loud as you want to in your own home uh as long as you don't disrupt the neighbors or whoever else is living in your house right now but there are some other rules that we do want to cover here and we encourage you to like this facebook live post uh, and give some positive feedback to our contestants in the comments section below We'd like to invite you to invite your family, your friends to watch along with you tonight, tomorrow, Friday night as well. Uh, FaceTime your best friend and watch together. Uh, and then share the live again. So anyone who missed it tonight, because obviously even though uh, once the live is done, this will still be available to watch on the Youth Resources Facebook page. 
until somebody takes it down, which I don't see happening anytime uh, soon. But you can catch up and rewatch tonight's uh, performance or a segment of the uh, of the evening, and then be ready for tomorrow and Friday as well. So just share and tell everybody you're watching. Basically, is what we're asking you to do, Aaron. <laughs> All right, love that. And hey, you know, part of BMOC is. Uh, having some judges so we have winners and that's not going away we're still having judges scores to determine our first runner up and our big man on campus that first prize but we've got some extra uh, kind of elements to add in there this year and these are going to be based on your donations you know we always do um, donations at the in-person event and we're going to be able to do the same thing in a little different way in this virtual space so as you're getting on there and watching this on Facebook check it out there's a donation form that should be on there and it's going to allow you to choose your favorite contestant from a drop down list and then you can send that donation to them and that will help that contestant's total grow and grow. And we'll keep those donations rolling in until noon the following day. So for tonight, those donations will be open and accepted until noon tomorrow. And then the winner will be announced at the start of tomorrow night's event. So the other thing I like about this, Ryan, is that my understanding is you can't see, you know, you, it's not like you got a pile of money in front of you that you can see who's winning. So you really just have to keep giving to get your contestant in front. Yeah. Absolutely. And that's the uh, fun part about it, because obviously we don't have a way to accept cash donations here this evening. So along those same lines, we'll also have a crowd favorite winner. And that's going to be determined by total, the total donations leader over all three nights, not just tonight, but tomorrow night and Friday night as well. And that is based on audience gifts through the online form that we've linked here on our Facebook page. Um, and all proceeds from this free three night event. This is really what it's all about. Uh, donate, pick your favorite. We'll announce that crowd favorite winner at the end of the night on uh, Friday night. And then Mr. Congeniality will be determined by votes from our five contestants. And speaking of those five contestants, it is time to meet them. We are very excited to uh, go through some of these introductions and then get to our contestant interviews. And as you may already be seeing and will be seeing, these guys uh, are not slacking off. They're in their, their best clothes, their best attire, which I'm sure you guys have been wearing for virtual learning anyway. Um, you know, didn't have to dust those suits off or anything. But uh, let's start right now with Mr. Central. Mr. Central is Isaac Scheller. Hello, Isaac. Isaac is Hi. a senior at Central High School. He is involved in Key Club, Student Council, National Honor Society, Drama Club, and Concert Choir as well. And in his free time, Isaac really loves writing and playing music. He plays piano, guitar, harmonica, bass, and drums. And after graduation, he's planning to attend IU's Jacobs School of Music to study audio engineering and music production. That is Mr. Central, Isaac Scheller. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Guys, up next, we've got uh, the man representing my alma mater, although I was graduated by the time he was born, uh, Mr. Modern Day, Henry Duncan. Henry is a senior at Modern Day. He's the three-year captain of the bowling team and plays varsity baseball. He's involved in student council as the judge of Modern Dayville, peer meditation, Spanish club, Euchre club, and Fresh Beginnings. He's a 10-year 4-H member. In his free time, Henry enjoys opening umbrellas in his house, running under ladders for fun, shattering as many mirrors as he can, indulging in black licorice, and taking his pet goldfish for long walks downtown. After graduation, he plans to attend the University of Southern Indiana to study business. There's Mr. Modern Day. That's Henry Duncan. All right. We'll uh, virtually head from the west side of town to the east side to my alma mater, and we'll meet Mr. Memorial Isaac Wetzel. Isaac is a senior at Memorial, involved in National Honor Society, History Club, Tiger Ambassadors, Link Crew, Academic Super Bowl, Student Council, Theater Club, Jazz, Marching, and Pep Bands as well. He's also the varsity football manager, co-president of the Wrights Memorial Dance Marathon for Riley, and participates in track and field. He's a sacristan at his church and participates in Unplugged Ministry. And in his free time, Isaac plays a lot of music. He lifts and he runs. And after graduation, he's planning to attend Belmont University to study music business and emerging media. That is Isaac Wetzel, your Mr. Memorial 2020. Yeah. Woo! Woo
All right, let's meet Mr. North, Tanner Jackson. Tanner is a senior at North. Tanner is a two-year captain of the football team, captain of the wrestling team, and participates in track. He's involved in the National Honor Society, Fellowship of Christian Athletes, Link Crew, Young Life, and is a 10-year 4-H member. Tanner was named a National Merit Scholar finalist this year, and in his spare time, he enjoys playing basketball with friends, all things music, learning about world religion and philosophy, and studying anything with science. After graduation, Tanner plans to play football at DePaul while studying kinesiology. That's Mr. North, Tanner Jackson. Yeah. We will round out our BMOC contestants this year by meeting Mr. Signature, that is Sean Egley. Sean Egley is a senior at Signature School, president of the Signature School Thespian Troupe, secretary of the Art Club, a member of National Honor Society, Student Council, History Club, and the Signature Boys Golf Team. In his spare time, Sean enjoys musical theater, skateboarding, reading, magic tricks, making art, and barking at the mailman. After graduation, Sean will attend Indiana University's Eskenazi School of Art, Architecture, and Design to study, to study studio art with a concentration in graphic and multimedia design. That is Mr. Signature, Sean Egley. Yeah, Sean. Yeah. All right, we certainly also want to thank anyone and everyone involved with each of these young men, parents, uh, family members of any kind, friends, uh, relatives, et cetera, et cetera, for all their support for each and every one of our contestants, not only here this evening and over the course of the next two nights, uh, but just in all the endeavors they do uh, with all these things that these guys are involved in that involves a lot of uh, uh, games to attend, practices to be at, and we certainly thank you uh, for your support of each and every one of these fine gentlemen here this evening. So with that being said, we move into uh, the meat and potatoes part of tonight. So normally, uh, if we were at an auditorium at a local high school, as we normally have been for the last 10 years, we would do all this in one night. We'd be here for about two and a half hours and we'd all go home. Uh, but this time, obviously, we're going to do things a little different and split up our three categories into the three different nights. And tonight, we will start with the interview portion of our show. Each contestant is going to get four questions. The first and last question are the same for each contestant. The middle two, uh, they don't know what they are. So this is going to require them to think uh, quick on their feet, and we're going to see how witty they can be, starting with Mr. Central, Aaron. All right, we pick it up with Isaac Scheller. Uh, Isaac, first of all, we want to ask everybody as we're doing this, how's the quarant quarantine treating you? Are you picking up any new hobbies? You got a new favorite TV show? Like, what is life like these days? Um, it's been going pretty good. Uh, there's been a lot of sleeping. I've been sleeping in a lot. Um, a lot of procrastinating homework. I should really be getting on that, but uh, <laughs> yeah, that's most of what I'm doing, actually. hate to say it, but... I have been working on music, as you guys will see tomorrow, a little teaser. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, well you, as a, a general thing, it seems that most high school students could use a little more sleep. So I, I take it that is a very good thing. Um, all right, Isaac, let's, uh, let's hear what you have to say to this one. So our next question for you is, what accomplishment from your high school career are you most proud of, and why is that? Um, thing I'm most proud of? Hmm. Um, well, this is a bit of more of a personal accomplishment rather than like an award thing. But um, last year, I actually transferred to Central. I went to uh, North Posey High School for three years. And uh, the change was really tough for me because those kids I had known for some of them I'd known since kindergarten. And I decided to change to Central because they had much more to offer me music wise and through the arts. And now that I'm at Central, I'm participating in well, I was participating in choir, music theory, theater, theater club, so much more. And I'm not bashing North Posey at all. Great school, wonderful people. It just wasn't for me. And it was kind of a hard change for me, but I toughed on through it. And in your first year, you're representing your school in a big way with big men on campus. That's pretty awesome. Glad to hear that. Yeah, I, I love this question. Um, Mr. Scheller, sir, what would your pet say about you if asked for a reference? Ooh, like a, like a job reference or just a reference in general? Uh, well, I guess you could interpret that either as a job or your character, oh, uh, things about you. Yeah. All right. Um, well, I guess as character, um, 
my dog would say I feed her a lot, so I'm very generous. Uh, my parents would probably say different, but. Uh, and I guess as a job reference, they'd say I am loyal and I pet people a lot. <laughs> what's, uh, what's your dog's name, by the way? Uh, her name is Lola. Uh, we got her, I think, six months ago. She's very young, so she's still learning. Okay. All right. Thank you. Tell us a little about Lola and uh, your reference mm -hmm. there, the, the petting. See how that would go in the job. Uh, to wrap us up here, Isaac, um, we always like to ask people this question because it is, it is important to us as we talk about the people who have had an influence in your life, some of them who are probably among the people that you know, Ryan mentioned in the thank yous just a few minutes ago. So who is someone who's had a big impact on your life and what do you appreciate about that person? Someone who's had a big impact on my life, I'd say is my father, uh, Chris Scheller. Um, he's actually upstairs right now listening to this whole thing, so hi. Um, um, like, okay, so most of my future in life is based around music. Um, uh, and my taste in music and foundation of that was built upon from my father. He was the one who got me my first instrument when I was young. Uh, he formed my taste in music because I would sit in his car and he'd play the same five CDs over and over again for my entire childhood. And he took me to a lot of concerts when I was younger. So everything that I have been or will be will is because of him. Also, he's a very great person. And of course, my father and I love him to death. Thank you, Isaac, for your answers in our interview round. Uh, you can sit back, relax and listen to everybody else for All a right. few minutes. Ryan, we'll uh, send it to you for our next contestant. All right, let's chat with Mr. Modern Day, Henry Duncan. Henry, how you feeling tonight? Pretty good, how are you? Doing well, thank you very much. Uh, let's ask you the same question to get started that we asked Isaac. So how have you been spending your time now that uh, more of it is happening at home? I've just started watching the show Tiger King on Netflix. I recommend it to anyone who has not seen it yet. And I'm a big dog guy and I've been taking my pet dog Ruby on long walks. All right. Yes. Tiger King is a must watch for anybody. Uh, it is just bonkers is the best I can oh, yeah. describe it in a family friendly kind of way. All right. So second question, if you could go back to freshman year and give yourself advice, what would you tell yourself? Freshman year going into high school, I was very nervous. Uh, I, I was very close knit with my friends and I wish I would have told myself to branch out more and, reach a hand out to someone in need that really needs that hand. And I want to tell myself to get more involved. Yeah, good answer. It's, it's hard to do when you're new at a school. Uh, you're just kind of feeling your way around there that first year, but that's great advice. Third question, if you could use one emoji for the rest of your life, which would you choose and why? And again, I'll remind you, family friendly, if you would please, thank you. If I could choose any emoji, uh, I'm, I really like to have fun. I really like to be humorous. So I would use the laughing emoji with the little tears coming out of its eyes. That would be the emoji I would choose. It's always a good go-to for sure. And then finally, same question uh, that each and every one of you will get here this evening uh, as your final question. Tell us about someone who's had a big impact on your life and what do you appreciate about that person? Someone who has had a big impact on my life as the previous uh, contestant, Isaac, said, it would also be my father. Uh, his occupation is a firefighter. And during that, you have to have strength and courage. And growing up, I've always loved the game of baseball. And he's taught me to take those qualities for, that he's learned as being a firefighter and put that into the game that I love. Very nice. And we certainly thank your dad for uh, his service as a first responder as well. That is uh, Mr. Modern Day, Henry Duncan, Aaron. All right, thank you, Ryan. Next up, we go back to Mr. Memorial, and that is Isaac Wetzel. We've got Tiger King, we've got Sleeping In. What's uh, what's life at home looking for you, looking like for you these days, Isaac? Uh, it's a weird mashup, I'd say, but for the most part, I am a temporary Schnooks teammate. Uh, I stock ice cream, milk, eggs, uh, you name it. Put, put it all in the bags, put it in the shelves. That's my thing. Um, I love it personally because, well, money, obviously, but I think more than that, there are so many new people that I would never met, never worked with, never had been able to get within 
six, a little more than six feet. And um, in this time where we don't get to talk to people, don't get to see people, well, in person, uh, it was, it's a huge lifter for me every day, I'd say. That's awesome. And it, thank you for doing that because just as we need those first responders, we need essential workers like you who are doing that and stocking the shelves. So thank you very much. I know people are going through a lot of milk and a lot of ice cream these days <laughs> for yeah. sure. Um, or a little more serious note, um, let's see, more serious than ice cream, not, not your work, but tell us about a goal in your life that you want to achieve and why that goal is something that's important to you. Well, with college in my sight and in the range, I guess, uh, a big thing that's been on my mind is finding a job that I love and living to work, not work to live, not going, pay well, I probably will go pay pay paycheck to paycheck just because money management, of course, but finding something, some sort, like, no matter what major, what minor I pick, that I find something that I can wake up and say, this is what I do and be able to help people and tell people this is what I do and see my work do something in the world. And I guess on a smaller scale, that's what Schnooks is doing right now. But um, long-term graduate college and love life. I think a lot of us are uh, take many years to come to a reality like that. Um, so <laughs> that's very wise of you. Okay, how about this one? Think of a mythical creature, okay? Which mythical creature would improve the world the most if it actually existed? I think, I think my, my initial reaction was unicorn, but then I think that is a lethal horse. So we're gonna stay away from that. And then I think I'm going more Pegasus, where it doesn't necessarily have the big horn, but it has the ability to fly, so not only are you getting the land movement for, of course, travel if and when we run out of petroleum, but also flying power in an organic way, I guess, uh, for the Green Party, as well as horse lovers everywhere. Good answer. I was thinking about that and I said, I would have no idea what I would say if I got that one. That's pretty good. Um, we'll wrap up, I think, with the question everyone is ending with, which is, uh, who is someone who's had a big impact in your life, and what do you appreciate about that person? I'm going to stay on the parent channel. I'm going to go to the other side. Uh, my mom has had the biggest impact on my life I could ever imagine. Um, I'm adopted. Um, if you saw my parents, you'd kind of get that. But, well, being physically brought to the country, of course, is the biggest impact. I can't imagine what it'd be like without it, but she brought me to Memorial and showed me friends, family, teachers, all the same thing for me pretty much, but I don't know. I don't know what it is. Um, my mom is a teacher, of course. I feel like adopts all her students as her own kids, and people will come up to me and say, you're Mrs. Wetzel's son, and I'm like, I didn't like that at first, but now, honestly, that's how I feel. And I feel like everyone she's taught, she's taken in and been a mother figure. And no one's perfect, but I feel like my mom's almost there. And if I had, could have a role model, I think that'd be her. Oh, I'm sure she's grabbing her Kleenex in the other room right now. Was one of her students as well. And she is a stand up lady. And I agree with you, agree with you 100% there. Thank you, Isaac, for sharing those answers with us tonight. And uh, let's see who Ryan has on deck next. Well, we've got Mr. North. We've got Tanner Jackson. Tanner, how are you feeling? Good? I'm great. How are you feeling? Good. How you been spending this uh, extra time at home? Uh, training off season for uh, college football, uh, practicing guitar and piano, uh, been working on a lot of the new languages I'm learning and, uh, helping out my, my parents and my grandparents at their houses. So very cool. What kind of languages? Uh, well, I'm learning five right now. So, Dang. yeah. Uh, wow. Oh, okay. I can barely master the one I'm speaking right now. All right. <laughs> let's get into uh, the second here this evening. Uh, let's think about your close friends. What is the most important quality in those friendships and why? Um, 
the most important quality um, would have to be the ability to enjoy time together and, and just have fun while you guys are together because we don't really know how long uh, of a time we have here and how long we have with each individual friend. So whenever you can find someone that you genuinely enjoy their spending time with, uh, I think that's the most important quality. Yeah, and certainly these days, uh, not being able to see friends and, and family as much as we'd like to certainly is, uh, makes, makes you appreciate them a little bit more, I would imagine. All right, your third question is, uh, is this. You just reached your one millionth view on YouTube, on a YouTube video you posted. Uh, what is that video about? Um, climbing Mount Everest and doing it with all my friends and making it an epic vlog climbing Mount Everest. Very cool. All right, same question here to wrap things up with you, Tanner, and that is, of course, tell us about someone who's had a big impact on your life and what, uh, what you appreciate about him or her. Uh, just like Isaac Wetzel said, uh, I'd have to go with my mom on this just because uh, all the things she does for me, always showing up and supporting me at all my games and I mean, just the countless list of things I got to do before college and she's been helping me with all that. But she's also taught me a lot about mental toughness, and um, she she's had hasn't always had things go her way. Like um, the loss of I had two twin sisters uh, that were older than me that died at childbirth, and she's had to deal with a lot of heartbreak throughout her life. But um, the way she's kept moving and still been able to be a positive impact for the people around her has been really motivating, really moving. Um, She's so strong, and I just can't thank her enough. Very cool. She sounds like an amazing woman. All right, thank you, Tanner. Appreciate it. Best of luck uh, tonight and, the, and tomorrow night and Friday night as well. Aaron? Thank you for having me. All right, let's head over to Sean. Sean Egley, Mr. Signature, who uh, has transported himself to Signature School yeah. for this event. And uh, Sean, what's, what's quarantine been like for you? What's been going on in your life? Uh, I've definitely taken a lot of time to uh, relax, uh, catch up with life around me, and uh, develop some new skills. I uh, brought out the old skateboard from when I was a kid and trying to finally learn how to master that. Uh, I'm barely staying on my feet, but I got plenty of time to work on that. Uh, guitar lessons online. Once again, still working on it, but slowly but surely I'm mastering new skills. A very good use of your time, sounds like. <laughs> All right, our next question for you, Sean, is um, we'd like you to tell us about either the group, the event, or the project that you're most passionate about and why you have that passion for it. Uh, a group that I'm very passionate about, I would have to say, is uh, my thespian troop. I, I'm currently the reigning president this year, and I've been a part of thespian since I was a sophomore, once I was inducted. And I don't know, it's just something about this club. It, it's very active in the school. It's definitely a smaller club, but it's so active and it has such a major impact. And I just, ever since I joined, I just, I loved it. I loved it so much. I love not only theater, but getting to bring entertainment and joy to so many people that I'm glad I've gotten the opportunity to not only run, but run it with so many people that I've developed so many beautiful and wonderful relationships with these past four years. Awesome, thank you very much. Uh, how about this one? I, I don't know how big of a TV watcher you are, but uh, surely you get a few of those shows in now and then. If you could be a character on any TV show, who would you be and why? If I could be a character on any TV show, hmm, I would have to say, um, I would maybe go with uh, Joe Exotic from the popular show right now, Tiger King. He has definitely gotten a lot of publicity and recognition, and he's definitely a major influencer for a lot of people right now. And I would have to say, I mean, obviously not the end result, but uh, with his current conditions, but I would say I, I would find him the most interesting person to live the life of. Okay. All right. Very popular right now. I have not watched it yet, so I will have to catch up on it uh, soon. Um, Sean, to wrap up, if you could go ahead and tell us about someone who's had a big impact on your life and what it is that you appreciate about that person. 
to go with the popular and wonderfully popular answer, I would have to say my mother. She is a breast cancer survivor, and to me, she's one of the most strongest women I know. Ever since I was a child, she's taught me what it means to be kind and generous to others and to help others, because we never know what kind of day someone else has had. She's currently going back to school to get her nursing degree to fulfill her dream of helping others. And ever since I was little, she's told me I could be whoever and whatever I wanted to be. But little does I do I think she realized that I most want to be her. Thank you very much for those answers. That is Mr. Signature, Sean Egley. It's been a lot of fun, Ryan, getting to know these guys a little better and hearing some of their answers. I'm always so impressed with some of them, how quickly they can come up with something uh, so interesting about these mythical creatures, the TV characters. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta watch Tiger King, Aaron. That's all there is to it. You, you just you <laughs> got to get on the wagon. It's gotta happen. You okay, okay. Time. Once you're in, you're sucked in. It, it <laughs> won't let go once you're in there, so. Uh, and just like that, night number one of the 2020 edition of Big Man on Campus, the 11th annual, is uh, all said and done. So just a few reminders before we call it a night. Uh, remember, we will crown a winner for each evening based on your donations. So make sure you are making your donations using the donation link available here on Facebook. We've linked that donation form uh, and that will allow you to choose your favorite contestant from a drop down list to make sure your donation goes straight to the nightly total. Uh, also, donations will be accepted, a little reminder, until noon tomorrow. So you don't have to do it right this minute, but sooner rather than later if you can, but you have until noon tomorrow uh, to make those donations. And then uh, we will again be here tomorrow night. There's that link right there. Look at Erin, she's got it all figured out. Uh, make sure you share these links, the donation link especially, with your family and friends so they can make donations too. Because obviously with the uh, format that we're here this evening uh, and donations being a key part of why we put this thing together now for 11 straight years, we want to make sure that enough people are getting the opportunity to donate. So uh, do that. Donate. And you've got until noon tomorrow to make it happen, Aaron. All right. Sounds good. That works sort of well enough, hopefully. bit.ly slash bmock2020. There we have it. Uh, okay, so we're going to be announcing tonight's winner. Just a reminder again, at the start of tomorrow night's event. So basically same time, same place to get us going on night two. And the donation voting will begin again each night. So again, going till noon tomorrow. And then that total, it's wiped out. We reset clean slate and we've got a chance for another contestant or maybe the same one to walk away the winner again. Another huge thank you to those promotional sponsors who are really the backbone of supporting this event. And that is the University of Evansville and FC Tucker and Gee Realtors. Couldn't do it without them. And of course, Ryan, a lot of other people, we're gonna say it all throughout these three nights. You're seeing us and the contestants on camera, but there are a lot of Teen Advisory Council committee members uh, and some adult advisors who have been working so hard on this for months and months and months as well. Yeah, we certainly appreciate that. We're going to give uh, some recognition to them. We'll thank them now and every evening, but uh, before we call it a night on Friday, we're going to get an opportunity to, to thank them a little more um, uh, personally, I suppose, is the way to put it. So that does it for tonight. Thank you all so much for hanging out with us uh, here for the last half an hour or so. For night one of the 2020 edition of Big Man on Campus to benefit youth resources, we are back tomorrow night, same place, Facebook, right here on the Youth Resources page, and we will get started at 6 o'clock sharp tomorrow night. We hope to see you there for night number two of the 2020 Big Man on Campus. Have a safe night, stay safe, and we will see you tomorrow. Good night.